Yes, hello everyone. Welcome to um, an MC Human and Social Biology um, episode or tutorial. Now, for today's episode, I will be going through the question four for the 2017 January past paper. This is, of course, um, paper two. As you can see, the first question basically tests your knowledge of the nervous system, where they are saying that some nerves are considered sensory and, of course, others motor distinguish between the following terms and the two terms are nerves and of course neurons so as for my possible hands have nerves are white which consists of bundles of fibers bound together in one sheet while the whole nerve is called a neuron so that's um, a possible question for that particular answer and the next question below is asking you to now distinguish between sensory and motor neurons and this is it sensory neurons carry information from sense organs to the cns which is known as the central nervous system so as for example as for the sensory organs we are talking about the skin for example um the eyes the ears so those are examples of the sensory organs so it is a sensory neuron that will the information from those body parts once those body parts detect a stimulus within your environment while motor neurons carry information from the central nervous system to the effector organs so the motor neuron basically do the total opposite so let's say for example you step on something um, at something sharp then the sensory neuron will take all of that information to the central nervous system once that decision is being made, I mean, very quickly, then the motor neuron will return or take back the information to the effector organ, which in that case would be um, the muscles of your leg or the muscle of your foot, so that it, those muscles can contract and cause you to remove your foot from that object. Moving on to the next question identify the term used to, dis to describe the area where two neurons meet and uh, the chemical used to convey an electrical signal from one cell to the other so um normally you would have the neurons being lined up i mean one in front of the other now there is normally a small space between any two neurons and that small space is called the synapse now um that um synapse is in, in that space it normally contain a chemical and that chemical of course is known as the neurotransmitter so let's say for example um, some information is leaving from the end of one neuron to the other then the information first will go into will of course leave the first neuron go into the neurotransmitter and then from the neurotransmitter up to the next um, neuron in line so that's how the information normally travel from one neuron to another let's move on to question B and this one is a bit um, lengthy. Maria reaches out to pick a beautiful rose. Her thumb is pricked by the thorn and she instantly releases the plant. Suggests a type of reflex action, spinal or cranial reflex that causes her to release the plant. And briefly outline four steps involved in a reflex action. And the type of reflex action, of course, it is a spinal reflex. Um, action as you can see uh, clearly number the steps the first one the sensory receptors in the thumb will first um, detect the stimulus in this case the stimulus would be um, that part of the plant that would um, prick her or um, penetrate her skin there the second step is that the sensory neuron now will carry the information to the cns or what we call the central nervous system as for three really neuron quickly make um, the decision once that decision is being made now then the motor neuron come into play where the motor neuron carries respond or carries the response to the muscles of the arm so those are the four basic steps that normally entails in a spinal reflex let's move on to the next question unlike the nervous system the endocrine system uses hormones to coordinate actions in the human body Maria's period um, has just ended, name the two 
pituitary hormones that will be released within the next 16 days and explain to Maria one function of each hormone. So one of my hormones it is known as the FSH, that is the follicle stimulating hormone, as for its function causes the ovary to of course make the egg um, mature. So that's one that's a function of the follicle stimulating hormone. The next hormone is known as the oestrogen. Um, it's now as for this one, it stops FSH being produced, and the next one is that it stimulates pituitary gland to release the hormone L. H. So that's it um, for question 4. Now, of course, um, guys, you can click the link below which will lead you to the website that will give you a lot more CXC questions. I mean, somebody just asked me to go through this particular question. So I'm basically looking at it from the website. So I have a website up and running. In the description section of the video, I will be posting the direct link um, to the website. So you can look, get, I mean, just Browse the website and you will see a lot of wonderful choice questions and of course a lot of paper who questions. So once again, um, thanks for viewing now. Please remember to click on the subscription button. If you are new to the channel, please leave your comment or any question in the comment section. And also share the videos with your teachers and your classmates. Thanks again. Your teacher is out of here.